فاشرف بي لاشتغال بالعلم ولا تبغي به ما عشت يا ذا بدلا ويا له من شرف عظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يهدي السبيل وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد وإن شرح أفضل كتاب التحفة السرية written by الشيخ محمد محيدين عبد الحميد رحمه الله رحمة واسعة and the Tuhfat al as we always mention, is a sharah of Al-Muqaddimati Al-Ajrumiyya, written by the Shaykh himself. May Allah bestow his never-ending mercy. Um, we're now going to go into uh, the Alamat Al-Fi'li. Okay, we're now going to go into Alamat Al-Fi'li, the signs of the verb. The signs of the? The signs of the verb. The author, Rahimahullah, here he says, والفعل قد والفعل يعرف بقد والسين والسوف وتاء التأنيث الساكنة. So the author here, رحمه الله, he says the علامات الفعل. So إن شاء الله تعالى we're going to speak about علامات الفعل. So the alamat that the author rahimahullah mentioned for the fi'il are two types. Okay? The first one is called alamat which are mushtarak. So when we say mushtarak, we'll explain what we mean by that insha'Allah ta'ala. Alamat which is mushtarak. Mushtarak basically means that it's shared between the madi and the mudari'ah. So from the signs that he mentions, there's a note which we call Mushtarak, and it's mushtarak between between who? It's mushtarak between the al madi and the al mubari'ah. Both of them share it, um, and that is which one? In brackets here, we put qad. Qad. So qad is mushtarak. It's shared by. Al Madi, it, got, it enters onto the Madi and it was also, also enters into the uh, Mubari. And we will we'll show examples, inshallah, what we mean by that. When it enters into the Madi, it shows two meanings. So when it enters into the Madi, it shows two meanings. And when it enters into the Mubari, it also shows two meanings. The meaning that it shows when it enters into the Madi, the first meaning, it is a tahqiq. Okay, each one we're going to go, we're going to, inshallah ta'ala, expand on it. And we're going to give examples for it. And the second meaning that it shows is At-Taqrib. At-Taqrib. And I'll ex- explain what that, was, what, that, what that means, inshallah ta'ala. It also enters into the Mudari' and it shows the Taqlil and it shows Takthir. So ponder here with me, inshallah ta'ala. We have the fi'l alamatul fi'li. We're talking about the signs that the author mentioned here, okay? The author mentioned the first one that he says was, Wal fi'lu yu'rafu what? With what? Biqad. He says yu'rafu. It's known with what? Biqad. And the qad is too. Verbs from the three verbs that we have, it enters into. The qad enters into the madi, which is the past tense. And the qad enters into the mudari', which is the present tense. And when it enters into the madi, it shows two meanings. And when it, when it enters into the mudari', it also shows two meanings. The first meaning that it shows when it enters into the madi, which is the past tense, is a tahqiq Tahqiq here means that this thing is going to happen, verily. When you say... That this thing is going to, that is going to happen, it's going to occur. At-taqrib means 
This is close. Sh very soon it's going to happen. Those are the two meanings that it shows when it's in the Madi. When the Qad enters the Mudari' it shows two meanings, which is at taqlil little does this happen. And at takthir a lot does this happen. And inshallah ta'ala, I'm going to give examples for uh, each one, inshallah ta'ala. So the author here, rahimahullah, Muhammad Muhyiddin Abdul Hamid, he says, I will say, in explanation, he says, يَتَمَيَّزُ الْفِعْلُ عَنْ أَخَوَيْهِ الْإِسْمُ وَالْإِسْمِ وَالْفْحَرْفِ بِأَرْبَعِ عَلَامَاتٍ مَتَى وَجَدْتَ فِيهِ وَاحِدَةً مِنْهَا أَوْ رَأَيْتَ أَنَّهُ يَقْبَلُهَا عَرَفْتَ أَنَّهُ فِعْلٌ He says, Muhammad Muhyiddin Abdul Hamid, that the verb is distinguished from it, the noun and it's also distinguished from the particles with these signs. These are the signs that distinguish it. And whenever you see it, enter it, any of these signs, and we start with the Qad, or you know that it can accept any of these four, then what you need to realize is عرفت أنه فعل You need to know automatically that this is a verb. The first of them is Qad. The first one is Qad. والثانية السيني. The second one is Sin. We're going to come to that inshallah ta'ala. And um, the third one is so far. والرابعة التاء التأنيث الساكنة. So let's mention the other one. So we have here مختص. What does mukhtash mean? It means specific now. This specific is what? The, what's specific to each one? Okay? The mudari' the signs that the author has mentioned. Are you there? Al mudari' the ones that he's mentioned, two of them are only specific to the mudari' And it's the seen and it's so far. Seen and so far are specific to the mudari'. They only enter into the mudari'. <laughs> then the, the madi. The madi. That the author, rahimahullah, mentioned. Also two are. Two are unique. One he mentioned. He only mentioned one. Which is. Ta. Ta'neeth As-Sakina Ta Ta'neeth As-Sakina is the one the author mentioned and we also, we also add to that Ta'u Al-Fa'ilayn Ta'u ta Al-Fa'il The Ta'u of Al-Ta'u Al-Fa'il Ta'u Al-Fa'il is basically Darab Ta, Darab Ti, Darab Tu All of those but the author here didn't mention Al-Amr. And we know Amr is part of the types of verb, right? Ajrumiya forgot about Amr. And he didn't mention Amr. There's two reasons why. Number one, is some of the reasons why the grammarians don't mention the Amr is because Amr is emerged into the, the Mudari'ah. There's a view that holds that the Amr and the Mudari'ah are the same. That's one opinion. The other reason is because that these two other verbs are the most common verbs. They're the more, more generic, the more used. And we will say there are two signs that it has. The Amar is two signs. The first one is Dalalatuhu ala talab. It has to show. Dalalatuhu ala talab. It has to show a request. And last but not least, it is. وَقَبُولِهِ وَقَبُولِهِ يَا الْمُؤَنَّثَةِ يَا الْمُؤَنَّثَةِ الْمُخَاطَبَةِ 
Sorry about my writing, okay? وَقَبُولِهِ And it's accepting of يَا الْمُؤَنَّثَةِ الْمُخَاطَبَةِ That he accepts يَا الْمُؤَنَّثَةِ الْمُخَاطَبَةِ Those are the two signs of the mudari' Madi, Amr. He didn't mention, the author didn't mention it. So let's go into each one, inshaAllah ta'ala. Are you with me? When Allah says in the Quran, and these are now examples, direct examples for each one. So we're now going to, we're going to talk about Qad, at tahqiq So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He said Qad, when Allah said, Qad aflaha, Qad aflaha al mu'minun, Qad aflaha al mu'minun. This Qad here, what does it mean? What's the aflaha here? Yeah? It's fi'il madi. Let me give an example of fi'il uh, madi, which is tahqiq. That's tahqiq now. Are we, are we together? So the first one is fi'il madi, which is tahqiq. So Allah here is saying, Qad aflaha al mu'minuna. Verily, the believers have found success. Like here, this qad here means tahqiq. It is reality that the believers have found success. This is a true, brutal reality. That's what it is. Also, Allah says in the Quran, Okay, لَقَدْ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ صح? لَقَدْ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنِ ال... لَقَدْ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ Allah is pleased with the believers. Here the word qad is used. Forget the lamb. The lamb is something else. But the qad is there. لَقَدْ قَدْ قَدْ Here this qad shows us what? That verily, it's a reality. تحقيق, حقيقة, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with the believers. This is a raddun ala rafidah, a refutation on the rafidah. Does that make sense? So the, the qad that's used here is qad which shows tahqiq in the Arabic language. We're all together on that. Good. So now we've taken the word tahqiq, right? Very good. And the words that come after it is what? What is aflaha? Qad aflaha. What is what's aflaha? Madi. What's radiya? Madi. So you just know that aflaha qad af laha. Aflaha is a wa? Madi. Qad radiya. Laqad laqad radiya. What's radiya? Yeah? It's a madi, it's a past tense. So radiya is a past tense. And aflaha is a what? It's a what? It's a past tense. Both of these, these two qads, they show tahqiq. Haqiqah. Okay? That's one. That's the first meaning that it shows. Okay? This is the... The second uh, example is قَدْ قَامَتِ الصَّلَاةِ قَدْ قَامَتِ الصَّلَاةِ What is that? Yeah? Huh? قَدْ قَامَتِ الصَّلَاةِ is تَقْرِيب it means a qaruba. The time has come closed. So when the Adin says, Qad qamati salah, he means a qad qaruba waqtu salah. The time of the prayer has come close. Are we all together on that? Qamati is salah. T here is what? Is a madi, right? So the qad is used here. Qamat is here. 
So the qad here, it means what? It shows, uh, this meaning here is takhrib. It's takhrib. The, the time of the prayer is close. So it doesn't have this. Those are the only two meanings that it has here so far when it enters into the what? Huh? When it enters into the madhi. So if a madhi qad enters into it, it either shows a tahqiq or Oh, taqrib. Does that make sense to everyone? No. Yes. We're now going to move on to the mudari'. We're now going to move on to the mudari'. What meanings did we say that the mudari'' shows? Yeah? at taqlilu wa taktiru, right? Yeah? Let's show the meaning which is at taqlilu For example, when you say qad, Yanjahu Al Balidu. Okay. Kad Yanjahu Al Balidu. The Balid is the dumb one, the thick headed one who can't learn. So here, what you said is Kad Yanjahu. He may pass Al Balidu, the dumb one. Okay. Okay. Why was he called dumb for? Because the majority of the time he fails. <laughs> so the qad here is little then. Sah? Are you with me? The, the qad here that's used here is that little does the belid pass. Okay, does that make sense? So the qad is here. For example, qad yasduqul kadubu. The compulsive liar might tell the truth. Sahih? Qad yasduqul kadubu. If you say that, it means that. He's a compulsive liar, but this time he tells the truth. And that what he's saying is the truth. Are you with me? Qad yastuqul kadubu. That's good. We've mentioned the qataqlil. We're now going to go into the takthir. Qad yafhamu dhakiyu. The next one is قد يف... The next one is قد يفهم الذكي The smart one A lot does he understand The قد here means a lot The smart one, the ذكي is the smart one It's the opposite of البليد Okay A lot does he understand Are, we, are you with me? Because we know he's a ذكي smart because he understands a lot Does that make sense? So the قد here shows what? التكثير a lot Does this happen? So whenever it enters into the mudari', it is either taqlil and takthir. Now what you need to really understand is that this has nothing to do with wama. This chapter of what, it, what, what qad means when it enters it, it's just the extra benefit that the author here mentions. Really grammar is about structure of words, sentences. Is this grammatically correct or is it not? What makes sense doesn't have nothing to do with grammar. Does that make sense? What the meaning is, is not. Is it grammatically structured correct? That's what it is. Okay? So those are the two meanings that it has in also the mudari'. Because the word yafhamu and yanjahu is a mudari'. Right? Good. We're all together on that. We're now going to swiftly move on to that's when they both share it. They both share qad. Okay? So qad enters into the madi and it also enters into the mudari'. We're now going to move on to Mukhtas. Mukhtas here means Mukhtas is basically when it's specific when it's specific to when it is specific to the each one has got its specific signs that it doesn't share with anybody else. So let's go into the Mubariah first. Seen and Sofa. Okay. They only enter into the Madi. Uh, sorry, into the Mubariah. They only enter into the mudari'. For example, you could say, um, based on the uh, scene, you can say, so you have, Yafuzu, Yafuzu al-Mujtahidu. You put a scene before it, okay? 
And so what does it become? Sayafuzul Mujtahidu. The Mujtahid, the hard working one, is going to pass. The seed here, it's what? It's a sign for the Mudari'. So Sayafuzu. He will pass. Al Mujtahid, the hard working one. The one that's putting effort in and he's striving and he's working hard, he's going to pass. He's going to pass. So that's. But what does the sofa sh- what does the seal show you? What is the meaning in seal? It's future. That this is going to happen. So he's saying, Sayafuzul Mujtahidu. The Mujtahid, the hard working one, he will pass. This is the future. It's not something we're in right now. Good. Then we move on to the second sign. The second sign, which is sofa. We have the second one. Is sofa. So far, Allah says in the Quran, So far, astaghfiru laka rabbi, sah? Ibrahim. So far, astaghfiru laka rabbi. I will ask my Lord forgiveness for you. So we have here the word so far. The word after it is a what? Is a mudari'. Because it's specific to mudari'. It's always specific to mudari'. Whenever we say this sign is shared or specific, whatever sign that we say enters that, uh, that thing, what comes after it is that particular verb, okay? It's that particular verb. So when we said qad, whatever comes after qad is either madi or mudari'. When we were so speaking about the scene, whatever comes after the scene is always a mudari'. Because that's what we're talking about here. And so far, whatever comes after is a mudari'. Now the question is, you've just said to us right now that sayafuzul mujtahidu, the hard working one is going to pass. And here you're telling us, so astaghfiru laka rabbi, I will ask forgiveness for my Lord for you. Both of those meanings that you've told us, they've both indicated and shown future. Sahih? They've all shown future. So how do you, are they different? Are they the same? No, they're not the same. The qa'idah according to the grammarians is, the more the word is structured, the more structured that a word has, the more meaning that is in it. It's so a gram, grammar principle that you memorize. Seen is shows future, but it's just one letter, isn't it? Only seen? It's only seen, right? And so far it's three letters. Seen, wow, and fa. The qa'ida is kullama kathur al bina. Every time the structure becomes more kathurat al ma'na, the meaning becomes more ghaliban. So how does the meaning become more? What was seen showing? Seen was showing future. Sofa is also so showing future. But the length of the future that they show are different. Seen's future is a close future. Whereas Sofa's future is a what? It's a far future. It's a what? It's a far future. I mean, it's not, it's not, it's not going to show it anytime soon. It's not something you're going to do right now. Okay? It's a far future. But see, the scene by itself is a future that is what? That's close. Have we understood the mudari' now, the scene and the sofa? We're now going to move on to, inshallah ta'ala, the mukhtas. Why did I say mukhtas? I should have said mukhtasah. Why should I? Why? Huh? Because alam is a mu'annatha, yeah. Very good. Are, are, are we all together there? We have al-madhi here. Okay, we have al-madhi now. The sign that's specific to al-madhi. Okay, there are two signs that are specific to al-madhi. The first one is the ta'u ta'nith as-sakina. What does a ta'u ta'nith sakina mean? If I look at her, she'll come through the camera. If I don't look at her, she won't come to the camera. <laughs> That's the way you deal with her. But if I look at her, she'll come forward. She'll somehow you find her over here. But if you ignore her, she won't pass the red line. I hope so. Okay. Ah. 
قالت قالت means what? She said This word right now, what is it? What is this word? Is it madhi or is it mudari? It's a madhi, it's a past tense How would you know it's a past tense? Because it's got a ta that has sukun on it That's a sign There is ta, ta'nith, a sakina so we know that the word qalat is a madhi. How do you know it's a madhi? What sign did you re- what sign allowed you to know that it's a madhi? The sign that allowed you to know that it's a madhi is what? Ta'u ta'neeth is sakina. That there is a what? There's a ta. It has a sukun on it which is sakina. And last but not least, it shows ta'neeth. It means it shows feminine. Word. The words. Now pay attention here, yeah. Are we all together? Just because the word doesn't have sukun sometimes doesn't mean it's not sakina anymore. It's not, it's not ta'ati ta'niti sakina. Sometimes it could happen due to an external reason that it becomes kasala. Like for example, qalati mura'a. Sah? Qalati mura'at al-aziz. So the imra'at al-aziz said, she said something. Ama qalati mura'at al-aziz, sah? So we say, قَالَتْ الْإِمْرَأَةُ الْعَزِيزِ 